Hello and welcome to the Rama Lama channel. Today I'll be covering question 32 from the January 2016 Geometry Regions. Now question 32 says the following. Determine and state the length of a line segment whose endpoints are 6 comma 4 and negative 9 comma negative 4. Okay, so I've already went ahead and drawn out the points and connected the dots. And here we have a nice line segment. We're trying to find the distance between these two points. Now, for those of you who studied math a bit earlier um, in the past couple of years, or your teacher went ahead and taught you this, the distance formula for any line segment on the coordinate plane is d equals the square root of delta x quantity squared plus delta y quantity squared, or to elaborate, the difference between x2 and x1 quantity squared plus the difference between y2 and y1 quantity squared. Now, I quote my famous meme lady, ain't nobody got time for that, in terms of memorizing this. And I would rather my students learn more or remember a more natural way of figuring out the distance between two points on a coordinate plane. Now, let's remember what topic we're in. We're in geometry, right? So that means we're all about creating shapes and line segments and points and whatnot to help us progress through our understanding of it. So here we have a line segment, right? And let's see. So if we reflect back on a shape that we always use a particular formula to determine a missing side length, we're going to reflect back on triangles, specifically right triangles. And the formula that we use to find missing sides of right triangles is the Pythagorean theorem. So let's write that down. Okay, we know that we're going to be constructing a right triangle soon, and we're going to be using the Pythagorean theorem, the shorthand theorem, to help us figure out the distance between these two points. Now the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, okay? a and b are the legs, or it's gonna be the future legs of this future right triangle, and c squared is always gonna be the hypotenuse, right? The side opposite of the right angle. So let's reflect back on what a normally oriented um, right triangle looks like, right? So if we draw a right triangle here, we see that here we have a nice slanted side, but then we have a vertical side and a horizontal side, and this is gonna be key. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our coordinate plane. We're gonna draw a vertical line passing through this point and a horizontal line passing through this point. And what that will do, that will help us create our three-sided shape, and we'll have a much easier time determining the distance between these two points in the end. Let's see, this vertical line and this horizontal line meet at a cross point. Let's see what that coordinate is. So it lines up along with this line segment, and because we're crossing through the x-axis, this is an x line, that means our x is going to be 6. Crossing through this horizontally, we're here, negative 4, so our y is going to be negative 4. Okay, so now, again, using the Pythagorean theorem, we need to find the length of these legs before we even get to finding the length of that, that, that hypotenuse, pretty much. So we can do one of two things. We can count it out, or we can use uh, arithmetic and figure out the difference between two points. I'm going to use the latter option. So let's focus on the horizontal change. So we go from negative 9 to 6. Okay, so what horizontal change was there? We can rewrite this using only the x's for this as the following. 6 minus negative 9 equals 6 plus 9. That gives us 15. So the horizontal change was 15 units. Let's count it out to be sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, it worked. So let's do that for the vertical change. We go from negative 4 to 4, or 4 to negative 4, whichever direction you want to read. So I'm actually going to start from top to bottom. 4 minus negative 4 gives us 4 plus 4, that gives us 8. So that means we have a vertical change of 8 units. Let me write that here, 8 units. And we have a horizontal change of 15 units. Okay, so we have our legs. So let's use these legs to plug into the Pythagorean theorem formula and figure out what the length of the third side is. So I'm going to rewrite that 
a squared plus b squared equals c squared as 15 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared. Let's figure that out. 15 squared is 225 plus 8 squared is 64 equals c squared. 225 plus 64, let's see, 5 and 4, that's going to be 9. 6 and 2 is going to be 8. 2, 89, c squared. Now we're trying to figure out c. c squared is an operation, right? When you square something, it's an operation. And when we have operations, there's always inverses of each operation. So when you square something, the inverse operation of squaring something is square rooting. So we're going to take the square root of both sides and we're left with square root of 289 equals c, or square root of 289 is 17 equals c. So we have the length of our hypotenuse, or the distance between these two points. It's going to be 17 units, so let's see. Determine and state the value. I'm sorry, that's completely wrong. It says determine and state the length of the line segment. We can write up here the length of the line segment is 17 units because it didn't give us any type of measurement long. And that's it. All right, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe and like. Thank you.